Hello everybody. In this video I will show you my type of zinc bromide gravity type of battery. So the zinc bromide gravity battery is a really interesting battery because you can make this kind of battery really really easy and also really really cheap. The basic construction of zinc bromide gravity battery is something like this. So in some jar you put on the bottom you put some positive uh, electrode which is in basic made from carbon and on the top you have some negative electrode in this case you have some zinc and everything is filled with zinc bromide electrolyte and this is the basic construction of zinc bromide gravity type of battery uh, so when this type of battery is charged on the positive side will start to form some bromide and on the negative electrode will start to form some zinc and that's it so i also make this basic zinc bromide gravity battery and is this so this is my basic zinc bromide gravity battery and this is my newest version of zinc bromide gravity battery and you can see the size so this one is much much bigger like this one and I can tell you that this bigger zinc bromide gravity battery have less output power like this one and also the charging and the discharging efficiency of this one is much much worse like this one so this little guy have better uh, output power and uh, the charging and discharging efficiency is much much greater like this one so the problem is because uh, the greater distance between the positive and the negative electrode in some basic zinc bromide gravity battery construction so greater is the distance between the positive and the negative electrode much higher will be also the inner resistance of the cell and more resistance you create in the cell much worse will be also the output power so if you want to charge this type of battery which have uh, really high internal resistance uh, you need to put much more power uh, to charge this battery and in the end when you discharge this battery you will get less of output power and this is the problem of uh, zinc bromide gravity battery because like i said greater is the distance between positive and the negative electrode greater will be also the inner resistance of the cell so here i have my upgraded version of zinc bromide gravity battery and you can surely see the size comparison between this normal cell design and this upgraded cell design and here is the voltage so every zinc bromide battery will have the voltage of 1.8 volts but let's check what will be the output power of this small cell I will go to 10 amps and I get 800 milliamps so in fact I get more than twice of the output power of this cell so really nice so guys I also need to say if you have some interest uh, to see a video a little bit more detailed about this battery and also this one uh, the video will be on my patreon the link will be in description and in the end you will also support my work um, so back again to this cell uh, you see the voltage is 1.8 volts right now and now i will connect this 100 milliamps load motor to this cell uh, so when I connect this motor to this normal 
uh, zinc bromide gravity battery the voltage drop on the load was really really high and let's see what voltage drop I will get on this battery which is some improved version and this is pretty really great so the voltage drops from 1.8 volts to 1.6 volts uh, and on this one I get much much bigger voltage drop and now the construction of this cell so on the bottom I use some graphite plate and this graphite plate serves me for the positive current collector on this graphite plate I glue some housing this housing I made from this one I cut the top and the bottom and this section of this housing I glue uh, with some silicon sealant to this graphite plate so like I said this graphite plate is my current collector positive current collector and in this housing I put some carbon foam the carbon foam is here for the increasing the surface area and because the plan is to make a battery which are the positive and the negative electrodes uh, more and more closely together so this is the point of this construction that's why I need to also use some separator the separator can be whatever you want in basic so on this carbon foam you put also some separator and in the end you put some zinc electrode and everything is filled with two more of zinc bromide uh, electrolyte and for the finish I only press the zinc uh, down closer to the positive electrode so here you can see so here you can see the zinc electrode is much much closer to the positive electrode and and still because I use some carbon foam uh, the electrolyte was soaked into carbon foam here is also a lot of room of creating uh, the bromide and if you ask me about the capacity of this battery the capacity strongly depends on the amount and the concentration of the electrolyte so bigger will be that cell more electrolyte you will have uh, also more capacity you will have but like I said the positive and the negative electrode in this case are more together like by this one so here we create some distance between the positive and the negative electrode and here we have uh, the positive and the negative electrode distance really really minimal and that cell also have space for forming uh, the bromide uh, the bromide will form in this graphite foam so guys that's it for now uh, and we see us in the next video bye